Daled. Valpiz, F. Shalu Havin Gamkin, and Yen Medaleg, Umikapitz, Diluk Beregel Echar Hulu. Now, according to this, we can also understand the concept of jumping in two ways the words Medaleg and Mikapitz. That Medaleg, Diluk, is with one foot, and Mikapitz with two. Kihine, in Yen Adiluk, Huvada, Yaldegilu, Koachanefesh. That's certainly the concept of jumping is a revelation through the strength of the soul, that which is above the ability that we use by just walking, as is seen with our senses clearly. So to the concept of leaping with two legs, who is also an, an even greater strength a revelation of the soul, of, of vitality that we use to do that. That's higher than the level that's revealed when we jump with one leg. When the concept is, Like it says that now you'll greaten the strength of Adnai. That the strength of Adnai is the that the divine as it encompasses the worlds the infinite may be blessed that encompasses the worlds who nikra koach hey ein hey ila gilo ha helem And that is because in Malchus refers Adna, the, the, what Koach Adnai, what's the Adnai here? That's the Malchus of Atzilus. The Koach Adnai who Malchus Ein Sov and the strength of Adnai, that's the Malchus of Ein Sov. Ein Shem, look over there in that mimer. So, so I guess he's talking about the concept, the concept that you have an extra koach that's miskale by dilug or kibbutz. So what's the koach? In the concept of koach adnai, it's a it's a gilu of keser into malchus. Malchus vein sof. In malchus vein sof nasis keser latzilos. Now malchus vein sof becomes keser of atzilos. And there's two concepts in Kesar of Atzilus. So if we're saying that the Koach, you have an extra Koach in jumping, so the Koach, which is a revelation of Kesar, has two concepts. Jumping with one foot, that's when the revelation is from Arich, so we've called mean as he encompasses the world, the kibbutz, the beis raglaim, and jumping with, leaping with two legs, kashinimshach gam That's when you're drawing down all an extra strength, also from atik shu bichina tachton ashe mamush, which is the concept of the lower level of the emanator truly. Shalamayla gam bichina soviv kolalamin, which is also higher than the concept of as as he encompasses worlds. That is beyond worlds. Lechen afal pi shenikragam kin regel. And therefore, even though it's called also a, f- a foot, that is to say, the lowest level of, of the Ein Sof. But it's called the leaping with two legs. Um, I wonder if th- this concept of, of regal that we're talking about here is is hinted to is hinting to also the concept of the regalim in general, that the holidays are a, con- a revelation of this level in general, <coughs> and I get perhaps regalim in the plural meaning two legs. I don't know. Inami beregel, achas, chitzoni satik, or you could say instead of arich and atik, that one leg refers to the external concept of atik. And two legs refers to Pnimi Satik, the inner concept of Atik Gamkain also. Mazeo Gilekoach Pnimi Yos, and that's an inner strength of revelation.
Ainu Gigdal Nakoach Adnai, that's the to great Nikoach of Adnai, Shikoach Adnai, so Bechinas Keser, that the you're greatening not to get to the Koach Adnai, but the Koach Adnai is already there and you're greatening that Koach. So the if the Koach Adnai is already Malchus of Ainsof, already a level of Keser, so great, making that greater, so Bechinas Keser, that the the koach adna is already kesser vishi yugdal koach zeh when when you're greatening that strength tainu shiyum shuch matik yamin chulu that is you're drawing down from atik to the from the higher level. Lachin bechinas medalek who magia al heharim and therefore jumping reaches the mountains zav. Above zirampin. Or no, it reaches only to Zah. Bechinus Mekapets and leaping Megillah Matiyoser can reach even further down. Gam Alagvos, Mekapets Alagvos can reach also to the hills. So if the Hari Merchagas, the Gvos would be Nuhi. Dimos. Like Leon Rachel, the Pratsufim. From Tifera Sulamata. He called Bechina Shuhu Elyon Yoser, Nimshech Lamata Yoser, because any revelation which is higher, which is further below, which is down further, Kamu Hareia Nimshech Mispashi Lamata Minashmiya, just like seeing is drawn down, draws down further and spreads out far, farther than, than, than hearing. That that's the concept of drawing down that happens through the mitzvos. That is, draws down further than the revelation through Torah. That like it says in that mimer about greatening the greatening the strength of Korach Adnai. That the mitzvah draw down higher than Torah. Yeah, I guess Torah corresponds with Shmia and and the mitzvah Sadaria. The gvos, I know Bino Malchus, and so what are the gvos? That refers to Bina and Malchus. Not like I thought the the refers to Nehi, but in this context, it's Bina and Malchus. Not not za. So the feminine aspects of Bina and Malchus. But that's also Leah and Rachel. In general. Vain Mashikov of Tibora Maskavas is a big day kodesh 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 and Malchus Shosh and Rishad Los Yada. And as is no, and as is known that Malchus has its root in the head that's not known. Of Atik and Keser. The Domim Shurshur Gavoim Hat Mitzomeach and the inanimate has a higher source than, than the plant. So Zir Anpin is like the concept of Tzomeach, whereas Malchus is like the concept of the inanimate. And the inanimate has a higher source. So again, that's a concept of leaping with two legs. Now, within this context, and it says on the bottom that maybe there might be a couple words missing. There's also two concepts, and I'm calling you from the depths, that is in the plural, one depth after the other. Like it says in the Mimer about this mitzvah, and so forth, and so forth, the Talumus Lev. It says, I guess, Bifiho Bil Vavcha. Maybe the Vavcha there. That you have the depth of the heart and the hidden recesses of the heart. I guess to different levels of Omek. Vzeo Teshuva Teshuva Hey. And that's the concept of the word Teshuva, to return the Hey. 
And the He also has in it a Yod, when you spell it He and Yod. And similarly, you draw down from above, corresponding to these depths, the Anochi Anochi, I, I will, I will, I will wipe out away your sin. Uh, through the Marmakim below, we draw down the depths above. You have two levels of Anochi. Which perhaps is like we're talking about the the dialog um, from Kesser, like we said that tshuva, which is uh, the higher level, like the difference between jumping and and mehiluch, like he, he explains in Perakimo of this moment. He, and therefore sometimes it says uh, that in the feminine that she is a Shabbos of Shabbos is and at times it says that he is a Shabbos of Shabbos is. In the masculine, and that is in, in corresponding with the type of level of tshuva, whether it's a masculine or a feminine. Or you can say the two depths of tshuva, that is the great love, or the supernal fear. I guess there's lower levels of tshuva also, but we're talking about the higher two levels, the depths, the two depths of tshuva. And we can further say, binyan beis omkim, the tshuva, and, with, and then we can say further with this, in, in these two contexts, two, two concepts of, of the two depths of tshuva, aleph omik tov, the first is the depth of good, that's within the divine soul, the concept of yichida, rabbeis biru yichida, shebenefesh abahamis, and the second is the pure, Purifying the Yechida within the animalistic soul. That you have, that's what's the Yechida in the animalistic soul. That's the depth of bad. That you flip to good. That's the, the, that's a, the, another Omic. That's why it says with all of your might in the plural, with all your mights, with all of them of your odes. Two concepts of me'od. And that's the concept of the righteous and the repentant. The concept of, of ma'amakim in these two omics. And that's the concept of jumping over the mountains. Like the idea from the heads of the rocks. I will see him. And then it says, Umigvo, so should I know? So I guess it's like the difference between, it's similar to what he brought before about the Hari Migvos. Vushorish and Nefeshelukis, Mechoch Mailah, and that's the root of the divine soul, Hamchoch Mailah, Kemoshikazuba Makomach, Alpiazor, Heli Gimel, Bala Krish, Gimel Amad Bez, Achina Migvo, so should I know? Ushit Pisila Barhulu. If so, from I will gaze at him from the hills. That's when he steps out, uh, takes a step outside, and so forth. Shorish nefesh abahamis mibichinas pashchulo from the concept of patient. So. Refers to the shrush of the nefeshalo kis and chokhmai la mvos ashurenu. That's when it steps outside, I guess, of a tzilus to be a shrush for nefesh bahamis. From the concept of patient. Not sure. Shashur shem bechinas malchus shemban. 
which is that it's the root of the animalistic soul is from Malchus, which is Shem Banchu and you know Labar the Labar, which is the concept of the stepping outside. Even though at, at times the concept of Psi Labar is the idea of Yisod. The Regal Shlishi. So that's Shurish Nefesh Bahamis Bimbichinas. And to the purification, you draw down to jump with two legs. That is also from the depths I call to you. That is the depths, the supernal depths, depth, depth after depth. And that's the idea of jumping on the mountains, like it says by Pesach, that Hashem jumped over the entrance. That is to say that he jumped to the level of Zion Ampin and Chagas, and the entrance being Malchus. And again, it might, there might be some words missing here. I am Bebrech Yisrael Rabba, Parsha Pehe, Gabi, Vatesha, Vipesach, Einayim. What it says in Bebrech Yisrael about how she sat by the entrance of the eyes. I guess it talks about the idea of Malchus and Tamar being like Malchus, the concept of the entrance. Gzor Chilik Aleph, so excuse me, Gzor Chilik Gimel Amal. Ein Aleph Beis Tzadik Aleph Chelik Aleph Tzadik Cheskuf Mem Hey Aleph Chelik Gimel Lamed Vav Vayim B'Mendel Hashabah Parsha Gimel Al Pasuk Zeh Hashar On the verse, this is the gate to Hashem. Or Al Pasuk Zeh Vatesha V'Pesach Inayim. Or no, Zeh Hashar. And in Kohelas Rabba, and about uh, a blemish you can't fix. So the concept of jumping over the the entrance, which is Malchus, which is below the the. the Mountains, that's the concept of jumping over the mountains. Or a, a jumping over the Malchus to the mountains, or from the, the, the mountains to the Pesach. Oji Shlomo, we can further say, Medalik Beregel Achas, about this idea of jump, jumping is with one leg. That's the first day of Pesach that the revelation comes to the divine soul. But then, through the Sfirasa Omer, Biro Nefesh Abahamis, Nimshach Mekapitz Bebez Raglaim Kulu. Okay, So that, from that we draw down, leaping with two legs, and like we said, that's the idea of the giving of the Torah, which is the jumping with two legs, an even higher revelation. By purifying the animalistic soul, that the concept of strength is you draw down strength to the divine soul in order so that it can reach the going out of Mitzrayim. And the weakening, that's the second part, that's weakening the animalistic soul to reach uh, Matan Torah. The, so that's the Torah, which is Oz Vitoshia, both ideas of Yisius Mitzrayim and, and Matan Torah. And that's also the concept of jumping and leaping. This is in the Maimar B'chodesh HaShlishi. And it's explained there, that explains that the weakening of the, weakening of the Nefesh Bahamis is a higher level we can also say this concept of jumping with one foot in the soul 
when the revelation is mainly in the divine soul. But the animalistic soul is, is, so to speak, not involved in that going up. Rather, it's, so to speak, just subjugated. Well, what does it mean you're jumping with two legs? That's when the animalistic soul is also flipped from darkness to light. So it's, you're doing with, so to speak, two legs, the, the divine soul and, and the animalistic soul. I wonder if the, the concept of, of the of the souls that are within the body or the legs because they're only a, a, a glimmer of what's above. So it's, so to speak, the, the legs of the soul within you. Because um, the question is, why, why are we referring to the divine and anomalistic soul as legs? Bechol hanal yuven hapasuk manavu al heharim ragli mevaser mashmiya shalom with all of this, we can now understand the verse, how pleasant are on the mountains the legs of the one who's proclaiming and calling out uh, peace. So I guess Ragli Mivasa, the concept of, I guess, Eliyahu Anovi, or the, the proclamation of the Geula, is the concept why it says, how pleasant are the legs of the one uh, who, who's proclaiming that the that the legs of the one who, who's proclaiming refers to the these two legs? I guess. In a fresh bin chametz lamato bin ches lehei. Now the difference between chametz chametz and mato is the difference between ches and hei. Bin a hei yesh ba bechinas regel. Now the hei has a leg. Mezu a vavish be socha hei. That's the vav. That's in the hei. We know the shish based bechinos matzah, and, and it's known that there's two concepts of matzah. Zeuinian based raglaim. That's the concept of two legs, the two hays. That each hay has a, has a concept of a leg, which is not the case with ches that doesn't have this leg. Zeuinian based raglaim the base hayin chulu zeu ragli mevaser chulu, and that's the legs of the one who's proclaiming the redemption. <laughs>